This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to a short tutorial of how to navigate the new eligibility and registration platform as an MSHSL official. To begin, you can either go in by accessing the eligibility tab or the registration tab. Since I'm going to be registering today, I'll go directly to the registration tab. Once I'm on the registration tab, I will see my different registrations. I've got a registration for reciprocity official, which should only be completed if you are a reciprocity official. I've got a registration for adapted sports, which should only be completed if you do intend to be an adapted sports official. And then I've got 2020, 2021 school year registration. This will include all other registrations that are not for adapted sports or reciprocity officials. Because I'm not an adapted sports official or a reciprocity official, I'll come in here to where it says register. If you have an Arbiter Sports account, this is where you'll enter your email address. Hit continue. And you'll log into your account. After logging into your account, it'll take you to the steps of registration. Step one is a simple welcome message. To go to the next step, you'll click the blue next button in the top right hand corner. This step, you'll select which sports you intend to officiate this school year. You'll click next. Here you'll be at your personal information step. Please make sure you include all necessary fields that are required. If you do not fill in a required box, you will receive a message that that box is required in order to go to the next step. If you have multiple accounts within the Arbiter system, you'll receive a pop-up that will allow you to merge those accounts into one account. Um, if you have multiple accounts that you do use within the Arbiter system, you can skip this step. The next step is the question step. Where it will be ask you if you've ever been convicted of a felony. It is a required step and you must enter an answer. After the question step, you will go through the background check consent. After your background check consent, come to an association step. In the association step, this, will, this is where you will choose any associations that you are a member of. You'll see all the sports that you did select to officiate. Those are the associations that you'll see in this step. After you've selected the local associations that you intend to be a part of, you can click the next step and you'll come to your payment. You'll get a summary of all the answers you've submitted, and then you'll get your cart summary over here, which will let you know which fees you are about to be charged. When you're ready to check out, simply hit the checkout button, go through the steps of billing, enter your credit card information, click process payment. Once you click process payment, you will get a confirmation a step where you see an on-screen confirmation, and you'll also receive an email from Arbiter letting you know you've completed registration for the 2020-2021 school year. That is how you complete registration. Once you have completed registration, you can go to the eligibility tab. The eligibility tab as an MSHSL official will look similar to this. It's going to show you all the different sports associated with MSHSL. 
and the available tiers underneath that specific sport. If you are a basketball official or a volleyball official, you could go into either of these sports and enroll in the different tiers that you're interested in. If you know you won't be a student official or you know you won't be a reciprocity official, you can uncheck those boxes and enroll in state, section, and regular season basketball. Once you do enroll in those three tiers, it'll give you a breakdown of those tiers and let you know what the specific requirements under each tier is. Here, it'll let you know that a background check is a requirement of all three tiers. Registration for the 2020-21 school year is a requirement for all three tiers. And then you've also got a testing placeholder. Although the test is not available currently, this does let you know that there will be a test available. And on that test, you must make above a certain score in order to become eligible for that specific requirement. Here, you'll notice in-person clinics that are also associated with each tier. Once you begin to start meeting these requirements, you'll slowly start seeing green check boxes. So if I had completed the 2020-21 school year basketball registration, I would see three check marks across this board. If you do want to enroll in more eligibilities, you can go into any sport. You can see the different requirements. And like you did for basketball, you can enroll in those specific tiers for that sport. You can also access registration from the eligibility dashboard. To do so, you come right down here where it says 2020-21 school year and click on that. This will take you directly to the registration portal. When you do start enrolling for specific sports, you'll see those sports listed in your current eligibilities across the top of your screen. From there, you can go in, see which requirements you've met, and see which requirements you have not met for those specific eligibility tiers. That is the eligibility dashboard as an official.